Hello, I'm Tony Mesa with Tony Mesa Real Estate School. Um, I'm going to show you uh, a math problem you may see on the state exam, and it's also a mathematical concept that I need uh, everybody to understand because you may be using this mathematical concept more than once. Uh, before I begin that, I want to remind everybody, uh, you can check us out at www.TonyMesaRealEstateSchool.com. Um, one of the things that I've added since the last video is I've taken my weekend exam cram and I've actually recorded the entire thing on video. Uh, the video is available uh, online, on demand. Um, so the idea is that right now it's uh, $99. It's about 14 hours of me explaining all the key concepts that you need to uh, understand for the state exam. Uh, so it covers law, principles and practices, and additional math in addition to what's here on YouTube. So it's really designed to prepare you for the state exam. Um, and it also includes the exam cram outline, um, which is the outline that I have written for my students to read through uh, before they go and take the state examination. So that is available. Uh, the idea is if you do order that, what will happen, you will, after you order, you will get a login uh, code. Uh, and then you will be able to watch the videos 24-7 uh, through my website, okay? Um, you can watch it on most computers, on tablets, and even on, some, on a lot of phones. My phone, for example, I could watch the videos perfectly fine. Alrighty, everybody, so here, uh, the problem that I want to show you is, on the state exam, sometimes they will tell you uh, the tax and the deed is this amount, right? And then they will tell you to calculate the sales price. So normally, you know, what we've already gone through in another video, if you look at the taxes are a sin video that I have here on YouTube, um, what, what happens is normally um, you are given a sales price and from the sales price you calculate the tax and deed. Here you're going in reverse. They're giving you the tax on the deed and they're asking you to calculate the sales price. Um, this, in the old days, a very, very long time ago, when you wanted to know what a property sold for, um, you didn't have a, you know the internet and all these public records databases. So you would go down to the public records and you would look at the actual deed. Let's say that this piece of paper right here is the deed. And a deed, a lot of times, it will not tell you what the sales price uh, is, but it does tell you somewhere uh, how much the tax on the deed uh, is, right? How much tax was paid. So for example, this deed you would look at and it would tell you $1,400 was the amount of tax paid on the deed. And the idea is from that, you would then calculate how much is the sales price uh, of, of this property. Now, what is it that happens mathematically, okay? When you're using the S in taxes or a sin, right? This right here is the S in taxes or sin, if you look at that video. It's a sales price, but it's in hundreds. You're drawing the line between the tens and the hundreds. If it ends with zero, zero, you're leaving the number on the left the way it is. That's how many hundred dollar parts you have. If it does not end with zero, zero, you would add a one to the number on the left. That's a fractional part of a hundred dollars and you would add a one. Now, multiplied by 70 cents gives you the tax and the deed, right? Um, so the idea is, what is the mathematical concept that you need to know for the state exam? Not just for this problem, but for other problems. It is that one number, like three, multiplied by another number, like four, gives you an answer. Then you could always take the answer, here it's 12, and you could divide it by this number, divide it by the three, and it will give you the other one, the four. Or you could take the answer, the 12, and divide it by this number, the four, and it will give you the other one, the three. So one number times another number gives you an answer. You could always take the answer and divide it by one of the two numbers being multiplied to get the other number, right? So what is it that happens mathematically here? The sales price, they're asking you to calculate the sales price. We don't know this number right here. This is what we're trying to figure out. But we know that that number multiplied by 70 cents is going to give us the tax on the deed which is 1,400. They've given us that as a fact in the problem. This number times this number gives us this answer. Now we don't know this number, but we know that the answer divided by this number has to give us that number. So if we take 1,400, the tax on the deed, the answer, and we divide it by the 70 cents, then we're gonna get the number 2,000. Now, 2,000 is not the sales price, 2,000 is the sales price in hundreds, right? Remember, when you're going in the normal direction, 
you draw the line between the tens and hundreds, you chop off the last two zeros. If it ends with zero, zero, you can leave the number on the left the way it is. If it doesn't end with zero, zero, you add a one to the number on the left. Here we're going in reverse, so we have to take that 2,000 and we have to add two zeros to it. And that gives us $200,000 as the sales price, right? So the idea is that they're giving you on the state exam sometimes the tax on the deed and you have to calculate from that the sales price. Now, another point I wanna to make to you here is the following. When you're taking the state exam and you have a challenge on a math problem, I want you to remember that you always have four answer choices, right? So A, B, C, and D, right? And the idea is that if you get stuck, you can always say, I'm gonna use the answer choices uh, to uh, try to figure out what is the correct uh, answer, right? So let's say that you have these four answer choices um, and one of them has to be the correct sales price because the question is how much is the sales price, right? So the idea is if I get confused by going in reverse, I'm not going to give up on it. I'm going to take the time and I'm going to use the answer choices. I could take answer choice A. That's a sales price. I draw the line between the tens and the hundreds. It ends with zero, zero. The number on the left stays the way it is. So there, 1,000 times 70 cents gives me $700, right? Um, that is not what they gave me in the problem as the tax on the deed. Remember, in the problem, I've erased it, but they said the tax on the deed is 1,400, right? Then uh, I take 2 million, draw the line between the tens and the hundreds. It ends with zero, zero. So that's how many fractional parts of 100 we have. So we have 20000, right? Now, when we take that, 20,000 and we multiply it by 70 cents, 20,000 multiplied by 70 cents is going to give us $14,000. Notice 1,400, 14,000, two different numbers. Be careful, pay attention to what you're doing, right? What about 1 million? You draw the line between the tens and the hundreds, it ends with zero, zero. You leave this number the way it is. So you have 10,000 multiplied by 70 cents gives you 7,000. That is not the correct answer choice either, right? The last one, what happens? It ends with zero, zero. You leave this number the way it is, 2,000 times 70 cents. Uh, that will wind up giving you uh, $1,400. $1,400 matches what they gave you in the problem as the tax indeed. So you know that's the correct answer choice. So use the answer choices if you get confused. But remember, something times something else gives you an answer. You could always take the answer and divide it by either one of these two to get the other one. You're going to use that in more than one problem, okay? Uh, again, everybody, thank you very much for watching the videos. Um, and uh, you can visit us at TonyMesaRealEstateSchool.com for information about our uh, live classroom classes in Pembroke Pines, our live classroom cram in Pembroke Pines, our online uh, course, um, uh, which includes the on-demand video, uh, and also our online uh, exam cram, which is the video online for people preparing to go take the state exam. Thank you very much. Have a great day.